Hello, classic movie fans. My name is Mary Lyle. I'm the Director of Education for the Western Heritage Museum and Lee County Cowboy Hall of Fame. And I'm here to introduce our next virtual classic Western film, The Horse Soldiers. It was released in 1959 and directed by John Ford. This is John Ford's only film set in the Civil War and parts of it were filmed on location in Louisiana and Mississippi. The film is loosely based on a couple of incidents that happened during the Civil War. One of them was the attack known as Grierson's Raid, and the other one was the destruction of Newton Station. John Wayne's character is based on Colonel Benjamin Grierson. He was the leader of this expedition. Their objective was to destroy Newton's station because it was financing the Confederate war effort. William Holden's character was also based on a real-life character. His name was Dr. Eustace Dean Ewell, and he was a Union doctor. So John Wayne's character in this film is called Colonel John Mar Marlowe, and William Holden's character is Dr. Henry Kirby. These two men couldn't be more different. They had different philosophy of life, different life experiences. One was a lifelong soldier. The other one was a doctor who volunteered for service. For a soldier, you had to be very focused on one thing, achieving your objective. You didn't let anything get in the way. If you really thought about the destruction that you were doing, you wouldn't be able to operate. And that's what the soldier's lot was. And for a doctor, it was different. He only had one objective, and that was in saving lives. Because of their differences, there was a great deal of conflict between these two men. And that is one of the most important elements of this story. You add into this another character, played by Constance Towers. She is a Southern Belle. She has some customs and manners that are very different from that rugged soldier's life, that's for sure. And she is a true daughter of the South. She even spies on the soldiers by inviting them into her house. And when they go in to have a conference over their next steps, she overhears their plan. Once she's discovered, it is decided that they have to take her with them until they can put her in a prisoner of war camp. So they load up Hannah Hunter and her maidservant, Lukey, and they take them on this expedition. Lukey is played by an outstanding athlete, Althea Gibson. This is her one and only film. She was talked, in, talked into doing it by John Ford. Uh, this is a woman who is very accomplished. She was considered the Jackie Ro Robinson of tennis, the first African-American woman to play and win the U.S. Open and Wimbledon. Hannah and Lukey are best friends, and they would do anything for each other. It wasn't a mistress and slave type of relationship. It was more of true friendship. You have some other great actors in this, a lot of character actors that you'll recognize. One is Ken Curtis. He plays one of Grierson's guerrillas. Those were soldiers that would dress up in civilian clothes and go out to be scouts. At the time, Ken Curtis was married to John Ford's daughter. Uh, you also have Hoot Gibson. And if you recognize that name, it is because he was one of the most famous cowboy stars of the silent films. He and John Ford worked together in many films during the silent era. And John Ford asked him specifically to be in this film. And it is who Gibson's last film. Film. You will also recognize Denver Pyle and Strother Martin. They're sort of the comic relief, and they play two Confederate deserters. There's one more face that you'll recognize. It is Bing Russell. He plays Dunker. 
And B Russell was a great character actor in a lot of films and TV series. And he is best known as the father of actor Kurt Russell. This film was shot on location in Louisiana and Mississippi. And in 1959, parts of the South were still segregated. In order to save Althea Gibson, embarrassment and humiliation, John Ford saw to it that all of her scenes were filmed in California. John Ford made sure that all the African American American extras and all the white extras who were local people from Louisiana and Mississippi, he made sure that they were all paid the same. And that raised a lot of eyebrows at the time, but he didn't care. During the filming, John Ford was informed by his doctors that it was too dangerous for him to continue to drink, that he had to go on the wagon because if he didn't, he would die. Everybody on the set was forbidden from drinking. It was hard for John Ford to stop drinking. His humor, which was always cantankerous, was even worse. He would go on tirades. He would take everything out on his actors, especially John Wayne. And John Wayne just needed a break. So William Holden and one of the producers cooked up a ruse. They said that John Wayne needed to visit the dentist in town. And William Holden, who was not staying on location, he was staying in town, he took John Wayne to the dentist. When they got there, they told the dentist, just close the door and join us. They had a lot of booze, they had cards, and they just let their hair down and had some fun. John Ford had warned them that if they were one minute late for work, there would be heck to pay. William Holden had a very fast car, and he loved driving it fast. He loaded up John Wayne in the morning, and they zoomed back to location and made it just in the nick of time. There were a lot of battle scenes in this film. There are also some beautiful John Ford cinematic paintings. You can see the soldiers riding along the bank of the river with the sun going down, or the sun coming up in some cases. And it is just beautiful composition. So I want you to appreciate that. John Ford always liked to use a lot of the same people that included his stuntmen. One of his favorite stuntmen was killed, and this affected John Ford severely. He halted production, and when he was ready to come back, he altered the ending of this film. It ended rather abruptly, and that's because John Ford just couldn't continue. He, he really lost interest in it, and it is probably because of that stuntman's death. In spite of all the difficulties, I think that there are some wonderful performances in this film. A lot of character growth. You have the gruff, unyielding Marlowe played by John Wayne and he despises the doctor. He despises him because he prejudges him. You also have the Southern Belle. She just hates the Yankees because they are invading her homeland. And then there's the doctor. Dr. Kirby thinks that Marlowe is inhumane and he doesn't understand how he can be so callous. By the end of the film, they all come to appreciate the other person's perspective. They grow, and they grow in understanding and in compassion. So I hope you will enjoy The Horse Soldiers, and let us know what you think. You can message us on Facebook or drop us an email, and we'd be happy to respond. See you next time.